As promised, I wanted to show you the SQL Tuning Advisor in the context of yet another Oracle first-party tool. Specifically, we are back on my Agent 1 Oracle 12C Linux server, and I have Oracle SQL Developer up and running here, as you can see. Now, here's what we're going to do. We know we have that Scott built-in schema, right? Built-in user, built-in tables. We are, as sys, going to first grant some permissions to Scott so that we can look or run the SQL Tuning Advisor as that user. So let me select that, select the sys connection, and do those grants. And now we're going to run DBMS stats. We're going to do the delete schema stats method against the Scott schema to strip away all existing statistics. Now the reason why I do that is that I want to basically take away Oracle's intelligence of how it satisfies queries and generates execution plans for tables in that schema. Aren't I clever? This actually, by the way, it's not me being clever. I'm adapting this tutorial from what you can find on the Oracle Tech Network. They have an excellent collection of tutorial ideas for you. Just wanted to give credit where credit is due. Now let's switch over to Scott's session. And I have this query that is very poorly written for a number of reasons. And it's doing some intensive things. It's running a sum average and account, but you'll notice that we have some problems right off the bat. We're not explicitly defining a join, even though at least in theory we're bringing in data from multiple tables. Now all of these references, e dot, refer to my emp, my scott.emp table, but notice that we're including department here just because. <laughs> this is a manufactured example. I just want you to see that we're going to run into some problems right off the bat here and couple that with the fact that Oracle doesn't have any intelligence along these lines. Let me copy these lines of code, open the SQL dropdown, and formally call up a Scott session. Paste these guys in, select them, and from the toolbar, sometimes I have to hover over to get the tooltips, SQL Tuning Advisor. See, we can get to it directly from SQL Developer. Close out of my connections window and hit the little up arrow here to make the Tuning Advisor maximized. It's the interface, it, <laughs> Tuning Advisor, is split into four sections. Statistics, SQL Profile, Indexes, and Restructure SQL, you see. And notice that we have an overview and a detail tab for each one of those. Overview is a little bit easier to see. We can see some things that we expected, right? The optimizer requires up-to-date stats for the table and its indexes in order to generate a good execution plan, and we don't have any of that. Well, no surprise. SQL profile, a potentially better execution plan was found for this statement. Consider accepting the recommended SQL profile. If we go to detail, we can see the original profile and the recommended. The recommended one, it looks like, is going to give us an estimated benefit of 20%, and this is the command right here. So it'll actually do the work for you if you want it to. Gives us some stats here that if we allow Oracle to generate a profile, it will give us, it looks like, a 42.85% improvement for, what is that, elapsed time, 100% user I.O. time, 100% for physical read bytes, and then farther down the detail list, you get into the actual execution plan. You see that the original plan does a Cartesian product. There's not a specific join. Not only do I not have a join defined, but those tables in this sample query aren't even related. So Oracle would have no other choice than to do just a full grab everything from either side, regardless of whether it matches. There is an index for my primary key on the department table, so it's able to take advantage of that. So this is the original plan. If we come down here, we can see original with adjusted cost. And then finally, if we use the SQL profile, you don't have any other choice at this point than to do that Cartesian product, unfortunately. If we go over to indexes, we're not seeing any opportunities for indexes. We don't need them. And we have a restructure SQL that says right here, consider removing the disconnected table or view from the statement. So it actually told us of what the problem is. So that means we can get rid of that reference and that should fix things up right off the bat to start with. So we could select this guy and run the SQL Tuning Advisor again. And you'll notice that the findings have disappeared for Restructure SQL. We've taken care of that. We still want to do optimizer statistics. And again, if we go to details, look here. It actually gives you the code to implement the finding. In this case, it would be DBMS stats gather table stats, blah, blah, blah. Pretty awesome, isn't it? That's the SQL Tuning Advisor. Now let's quickly do the SQL Access Advisor.